So I did want to touch on one other little bump in the road because I am obsessed with horror and this movie hit theaters at just like the absolute perfect age for me. And to be honest, I think it got a little bit of, I guess, too harsh criticism. It's prom night. <laughs> so I'm just curious from the behind the scenes perspective of that for, for you building a feature film career, what is it like trying to manage expectations when something like that happens? And how do you kind of, I guess, separate yourself and your work from the movie's reception overall, which I imagine is hard to do, but at least to me, it feels necessary. Yes. I mean, once again, I'm really glad that I was at an age where there were so many other things that I was worried about. Um, as opposed to what critics thought of me. I was 21 and maybe t turning 20, yeah, 21. And um, I don't know, I, I really didn't care um, about what the critics said, which I, you know, now in hindsight, I, I think I would, as you know, in my thirties, I care a lot more, I think. But um, I knew that it did really well at the box office. I knew that it was the number one movie for many, many weeks. And I knew going into doing prom night that it wasn't going to be Schindler's List. So I, <laughs> I think that, you know, there's a way of, of making an experience feel like it was more about the experience than the result. And I did feel like that with prom night. I made one of my best girlfriends in that movie um, who was in my wedding and, um, a lot of good came from that. And so I guess it was a lesson also in not caring about the results of something.